I'll make a brand new start of it in old New Curdy Sluter, Curdy Sluter shower, right? Everything, everything they sell from the foam curb to the foam niche to the foam bench to all of the Curdy Sluter products, the corner pieces. I mean, you name it. Like you could spend easily five, six, seven hundred dollars on all of this prep. This, this is. Uh, this is just absolutely crazy. I mean, I've already known about all this stuff, but that they actually have it set up to where the whole thing is all of their product. That's why I said you could spend that kind of money. The basic shower system is about, I think it's about $300. But by the time you buy all of this stuff they're showing here, yeah, you're well, you're well into five, six, seven hundred dollars $700, maybe more. Um, and it is waterproof. And because it is waterproof, same way as Red Guard or Aqua Defense would be, if you spent $50 for that product, look up here, it says, well, you can't see it, but it says on the back here, I got too much light, drywall or cement board. So they're allowing for drywall or cement board because they know that using all these products, you'll have a foolproof, waterproof shower. But that's the same thing you'll have with Aqua Defense, Red Guard, all the other products that are topical membranes where you're not spending a huge amount of money. And of course, they're selling all these products, and you can see clearly $99 for a niche. <laughs> a roll of this is $603 if you want to do your floor. $603. We're already at $700. Then you have your uh, smaller niches for only 62. You have a bench for basically 100 bucks, foam bench. You have all of these taping products. You have all these corner products. You have all these drain products. You have all of this stuff, which is basically what I was just showing you with all the products involved. Four hundred and forty-seven dollars, which will probably not get you everything that you need, obviously, and it's all proprietary. So if you use this stuff, there's only a warranty. If you use all of their stuff, that's where they get you. Uh, slope shower tray. How much is that? No, oh, it's only ninety-three dollars. That's not bad. <laughs> but obviously, you can see the point I'm making. You know, from from the drains to uh, you know all of this stuff. There, you know what this is good for. This is good for the stock exchange. If you want to invest in this company, put some money, not all your money, obviously, but buy a little bit of their stock because it's being pushed. It's being pushed by people on YouTube. It's being pushed by the stores that I go to. Um, and it's, it's just it's crazy amount of this plastic, literally plastic and foam material that they're just pumping out in machines for, you know, pennies on the dollar. Uh, these are the foam panels that you can buy. Each one of these, just figure a hundred bucks with tax, each one of these. I think this is a little less than a hundred for this foam panel, and you're going to need at least three of these on most showers, if not four. So already you're up to three or four hundred dollars, just if you want to build all this in foam. And then you have your thicker pieces here. Look at this styrofoam. This is the same crap that those coolers used to be made out in the 70s. You know, nothing more than that. It's just, I don't know. <sighs> Sometimes there's not a better mouse trap. Uh, but this is the same material that this curb is made out of. It's, it weighs nothing. I think it weighs maybe a pound. I don't know how much it weighs. But um, 
and plastic, plastic and foam. What a fire hazard. So I'm going to, I'm going to do something that I've never done before. I'm going to buy just a few of these products and as an ex-firefighter, I'm going to set them on fire and show you the hazard involved. I mean, forget that these are all very expensive and not needed. The chemical and fire non-resistance of these products is enough to keep me away from them. So I have this, uh, this, this orange Dieter mat, which um, I cannot stand. You can see videos on how you set tile on this stuff. Uh, is it a good idea? You know, I'm ambivalent about it. I, on one hand, I'm not necessarily opposed to new ways of doing things. You know, I change my methods from time to time. But sometimes there is a solution with no problem. There was no problem here. Uh, very expensive. This stuff is very expensive. This is only one sheet. You can imagine, you know, uh, uh, basically a three by three sheet how many sheets you would need of this. This is $21 plus tax. So you're gonna spend twice what you would on uh, Durarock or Hardy or any other thing. And then this is very difficult to get off. I'll post a video link down below because it has this, this mesh on the back, like a, like a cloth type mesh. Um, it just becomes extremely difficult to get up. In fact, on that video, I ended up putting a layer of Durarock over it because I couldn't get it all up. Um, so I spent $21 for this, which I'm not happy about. I spent $50 for this, this uh, fake foam curb from uh, Curtis Schluter. And as I had already mentioned in the very beginning of the video, this stuff is just foam. It's, it's you know, this would be good for a float at the beach. This is the same type of foam that a cooler would be, a, a good sturdy cooler would be made out of. And, you know, it breaks the same way. It just, it just breaks the same way. You know, little pieces. Um, I really hate busting up this $50 curb, but I will never use it. In fact, if somebody gave me one of these, and said, do your own bathroom with it, I would decline. The only way that it's, it's, it's adhered is you put their proprietary, everything's proprietary, understand that. Their proprietary caulking would actually glue down to whatever your subfloor is. You just glue it down and that's how it anchors. Um, so would I use it? No, I would never use it. Um, I'm not saying it's not sturdy. What I'm saying is, inherently, it has a lot of issues. Uh, the weakness is one of them. Um, imagine, yes, there's gonna be tile over it, but imagine, you know, something hard um, hitting the side of this or the top of it or something like that, breaking through your tile and break through the curb. I don't, you know, the whole thing weighs probably ounces. I don't even think it's quite a pound. Leaves the same type of droppings, <laughs> droppings of a foam cooler. This would be great for a cooler. This would be great maybe, I don't know, to hide a bunch of money in when you build your shower and then, you know, leave a secret note somewhere where all your money's hid because nobody would ever guess that it's hid inside your uh, shower curb. I don't know, I'm just making up stuff. But anyway, the point being, this is a good float for the beach as I've refer referenced on uh, another video I have. This would definitely keep you afloat. You are not gonna drown with that thing. This thing, I don't know, maybe under a deck to keep the deck, uh, keep the water channeled off of the deck, maybe. So the bigger point is burning. This stuff, and you know what's gonna happen to this. Having been a firefighter, uh, I'm always freaked out about toxic chemicals. Chemicals like carbon monoxide that could uh, theoretically kill you before the fire ever does. And it was that easy to set on fire. Look at that, it's like a straw. You know when you were a kid, you used to burn straws and watch them drip? 
that's exactly what that is. And it's giving off some black smoke that um, you can't see, it's a little windy. Imagine, imagine this stuff is all over your floor. So what's fueling the flames is of course all your wood that you have in your house but this is going to keep the flames burning. This will increase the flames. And it's not even the point that it's going to increase the flames and make your house burn down quicker and keep everything. If it, if it wants to burn out, if you've got some wet wood somewhere, <laughs> this stuff will ensure that that's not a problem. This stuff will keep on burning. It'll keep on dripping this, uh, this stuff and ensure that everything that you have in your house is going to burn. I mean, look at that, it's just sizzling. Um, if that's not bad enough, the bigger issue, and I guess the bigger fear that I have is, is, you know, you're trying to keep down chemicals at a minimum in your house. You know, chemicals that can burn and that are toxic. Most people in a fire don't die by the fire. They die by toxic chemicals that are given off by all the different materials you have in your house. I don't have to do anything. There's nothing that I have to do. Just set it on fire one time and it's just gonna burn itself until there's nothing else to burn. And all that, all the excess that you see on the ground there, all of that stuff is gonna continue to burn until it has nothing else left. It's just, it's, it's... I mean, obviously I don't have to really do an experiment to show you that foam burns very easily and that it does that dripping effect, same as this other material. It's, it's, it, it should be obvious to anybody that's ever played with, um, ooh, crap, that's ever played with this stuff, you know, when you were a kid. Not that you're a pyromaniac, but look at that. All that toxic, all that toxic dripping that's going on. The smoke you can't see again, it's a windy day, but this is all black smoke. <clears throat> Can you imagine having that in your house? Anywhere in your house? stuff right there. say this it definitely doesn't catch fire very easily but it's pretty nasty nevertheless Yeah, I don't think um, Red Guard is going to have this effect. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, then subscribe hit that button and subscribe. I make nothing off of YouTube, so please be a Patreon member. 
I'm going to post a link down below to my Patreon account and you can donate a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars a month. Just pledge that that on a monthly basis that will help me produce more videos and, and content so that you can watch and learn from my channel. And donate at least $50 if you're going to call. If you're going to call for advice, donate to my PayPal, please. Donate first and then feel free to call me or email me uh, for advice. Otherwise, business calls only, please.